Hello everyone! So today we have another throwback build for you. Um, this is an art gallery with an apartment um, on top of it. And I did build this in Magnolia Promenade. So yeah, it's, uh, it's a fun little build. Um, I don't know if you necessarily have to have get to work to do this. You could set this up as just a gallery where your sim displays their artwork and maybe does some classes in the back. Um, there is a room on this main floor where there's some easels and yeah, your sim can teach classes per se or do, you know, gatherings or something. Um, uh, so, you know, there's that, uh, but if you have get to work, you can, uh, actually run this as a store. Um, I've created a little back room area where I technically have the register, um, and a little employee spot and lots of doors in this build. Um, uh, I did play in this, um, as I said, I built it, I believe, about a year and a half ago-ish. Um, I'm trying to think. It was, a, I had the werewolf's pack. And I think it was sometime, not, sh not too shortly after that, that this was built. Um, I don't believe this is just base game. Uh, no, it's, uh, it's got a few packs in it. And, uh, yeah, it, I mean, the game will replace what you don't own. The only thing is you won't, might not have those cute little bench seats around this tower I have there. Um, the tower is there so that you can display artwork. If you don't like it, you can tear it down. Um, I did go through after, or maybe at the end of this build, and changed all of these walls to half walls. I don't know why I put them in as full walls to begin with, um, but when I played in this, I changed them to half walls as well. So, yeah. So everything will stay up and you'll see the artwork, and it's it's actually a really fun build to play in. Uh, I want to say I had my sim here for, for quite a while. Uh, of course, she owned a lot. Um, that was in a, another world and um, bought this. Um, what I did, I think I had like a roommate or something living in that lot. Uh, so she got a little little money that way. And But she pretty much lived here. And she was part of my like uh, generational gameplay I did. And so eventually she had a kid and then moved out of here and into a house. And then eventually I think I ended up selling the gallery um, just because it was a lot with, you know, me trying to concentrate on the next generation sim. Um, and I think the high school pack had just come out when I uh, decided to make that move and I put them into that world to play that. So, yeah, um, really everything works pretty well. I didn't have her necessarily do classes inside. I had it all blocked off so nobody could enter um, the back room. And you'll see in this build, I do add a wall to the back room area where the stairs go up. Um, I didn't have a wall there when I played because I didn't need it. I, I locked everybody out of that back room and it was just hers to Pinkton. Um, but yeah, I mean, you could definitely do little classes back there or this little patio area in the front. Um, I did have her do a couple of like gatherings there. So I did do that. Um, but it was just more of a, you know, friends come paint. Nobody, you know, I didn't steal anybody's artwork. Okay. I kind of did cause they didn't all take it. But they left it for me. It was my tip. Okay? <laughs> so anyway, um, up top here, you'll see me doing a few things like the bathroom. 
I rip that out um, and redo it later on in the video because I did not actually furnish this build on camera um, or, you know, record me fur furnishing the build originally. So I just went back yesterday um, as of recording this yesterday and put in um, all the furnishing except for this kitchen. This kitchen was there. I did have that. So that stayed. Um, but it didn't have like any living room furniture. Uh, yeah, it was, it was a blank slate. So you'll see some newer stuff in the apartment upstairs. And as I said, I completely like rip out this bathroom because I decided I didn't like it and I wanted to do something a little different in there. And I love what I did in that bathroom. Um, that being said, if you don't have Snowy Escape or uh, universe, discover University, um, you, you might have to put in a shower, okay? <laughs> I'm on a kick where I'm using the, uh, the wall-mounted showers instead of the shower stalls that the game has. So bear with me on my obsession. Um, I'll try to tone that down a little bit, but I think the game may replace it with a regular shower anyway, um, and it'll still work. So, you can see here now, I am trying to figure out this living room. I change a few things in here a couple of times. Now, the sofa stays. Uh, I do end up keeping that, but I change the tables, and yeah. It, it comes together really well, and again, I wanted to focus on this build feeling like an artist lived here. So like I picked out this coffee table that maybe she put the artwork on um, and really kind of tried to create a space that was homey feeling, um, not too cluttered because in my mind, this Sim is spending all of her time painting. And that is exactly what happened when I played this. So, I guess it's not really in my mind. It, it was reality in my game. Um, but yeah, so you can see I got the little forefront shelf here um, just to kind of put something there. Um, so that's not a big deal if you don't have forefront. And um, yeah, so now just kind of cluttering up the kitchen a little bit. I do uh, use a few of the Home Chef Hustle kit items. Um, yeah, I just, you know, trying to make it look like it's somebody who's busy lives here, but maybe they enjoy cooking a little bit. So like, yeah, we have the mixer, we have the pizza and the, uh, the Instapot thing, uh, rice cooker, whatever you want to call that. Um, so that was my thought with this kitchen is just creating a, a space that it's easy to cook in and then she can go back to painting or, you know, he, wh whoever you have moved into this. I'm going to say she throughout this entire video because I had a she in here. So I will say I don't think I decorated this, you know, except for the kitchen that is existing anywhere close to what I put in here. It was bare minimum. Um, because I just had her so busy doing everything else. Between painting and running the art gallery, even though I hired Sims um, to help run that, it was a lot of work. So I didn't do a lot up here furnishing wise anyway. So I'm kind of excited that you guys get to see me do this and I got to do this now. Um, I think I always intended on coming back and doing this part of this build and uploading it but I completed this I think when I just wasn't doing a whole lot with this channel I had probably about six to eight months where I didn't do a whole lot and it's only been pretty recently in the last six to eight months that I've really started focusing on this again um, I had some life things happen and yeah so, yeah, but now, you know, I'm back and enjoying myself again, and it, it's been therapeutic in a way. 
to start doing these builds again. And I'm planning on doing these for as long as you will watch them. So if you guys stop watching, I will stop making them. But as long as you guys are watching, I will continue to do this. So um, the other thing is, yeah, kind of just playing around. I wanted to put a few things that were, I don't know, kind of like weird, like cluttery things. So I put that, you know, live, laugh, love sign. I just blanked on what the symbol is for it. Um, but put that in the little TV stand. And now I'm just kind of creating a nice little desk space. Um, I did not put anything like downstairs to look like an office or anything for the gallery. So that's kind of her office space. All right. So the other thing is trying to figure out rugs. Again, I wanted it to look kind of artsy or at least artistic ish in here. Um, so you can see the one rug under the, uh, sofa um, reminds me of like a watercolor painting. And unfortunately I end up using this realm of magic rug. At least I think that's where that came from. And yeah, I, I couldn't find anything round and I wanted a round rug there. And now I'm adding in the curtains and I use the Desert Lux ones because, I don't know, it just came, these always make me think of kind of luxury, but just a flowy, relaxed vibe. Um, so that's why I use those. And now I'm just trying to figure out a bed for her. Again, I wanted something that was a little artsy feeling and I think this uh, growing together bed works well for that look. Um, I thought this bedroom was going to be hard to do, uh, mostly because I didn't put much in the other one. Uh, she literally had her bed and the, uh, the, you know, child's beds in there for a little bit until they moved out. Um, but yeah, this came together pretty quick. Uh, did change out those windows. I don't know why I put them in to begin with, but that's what I did. And now just adding in some pretty color to the walls and um, just kind of changed my mind with how I wanted this to look. I, I'm sure since it's been so long since, you know, I did this build to begin with. So yeah, added that cute little painting too. I like that. Put in an easel that's all her own, you know, no, but she doesn't have to share that one with anybody. Uh, and just kind of created this, you know, little cozy area. So the bathroom, I, I do, I love how this turns out. I'm going to stress it again and probably one more time after this. Um, but I wanted to create kind of a very modern spa style bathroom. Um, just because, you know, she works hard, okay? Or he works hard. Whoever is going to be in here will be working hard. <laughs> um, so, you know, something a little more luxurious. Uh, there is no bathtub. That's the only thing. Um, but, you know, if you wanted to do that, it wouldn't be hard to add, you know, a bathtub in here. That was a bathtub combo. Uh, but I didn't. I just put a nice shower and kept it kind of minimal in here. Uh, there's not a lot of decor in here. So again, she's too busy for a whole bunch of decor and cleaning. Okay. All right. So then the outside porch area, I'm going to be honest when I played this, I think I had a grill and like a table out here and that was it. I did not decorate this up at all. So blank slate for this for sure. And I absolutely love how this looks. I have not play tested it yet, um, but there's a couple things that might be an issue. So I'm going to play test, see if it works. But if you go to download the final build and you see that uh, there's a couple things missing, that's why it didn't play test well. Um, normally I try to do the play test before I record these, but um, I just had a chance to do the recording for this and 
uh, or the voiceover for this. And uh, yeah, I, I grabbed it and ran. So <laughs> I'm excited. I'm like a week ahead. I'm recording this the weekend or I'm recording this on uh, January 22nd. We're going to go with that. So, oh. all right. So here I really wanted a table, but you will see I give up that idea pretty quickly because I wanted a round table and we don't have smaller round tables and it makes me mad. So gave up with that. Decided to add this cute little um, like overhang thing behind the hot tub just to kind of create, you know, I don't know, some looks. And then I wanted a covering of some sort here, but everything just was so big. Um, so that's something I am going to play test and see how that works because I think I've done this before and it didn't work, um, but I can't remember. Uh, yeah, and then also I add these like, you know, lights under this gazebo. I do it all the time. Almost all my builds have a light under this gazebo if I use it. Uh, but you could see I couldn't use those one, the first set. Uh, and I love those and they would have been perfect, but uh, sizing down the gazebo ruined that. So I was kind of bummed. Then these, I'm just using the fairy lights. I believe that's from the little campers kit and um, putting those up there. I really need to actually use those for what they're intended, which is between the little camper lights, but I don't like ever. Um, yeah, eh, well, whatever. The, the whole point is to, you know, create your own story, right? My story says those lights go up there. <laughs> All right, so I'm adding in just some uh, bushes, train paint, um, I added in a garbage bin there, but I end up taking that out later on and putting in a, um, like a side garbage, big garbage bin. Um, the one from like Eco Lifestyle. So, yeah, I thought that was a little more realistic. You'd have a bigger bin there. So here, just kind of, uh, finishing up some things on the front, seeing how it all works, um... Again, I, I think I did some of this type of thing when I moved into the lot, but I just didn't record any of it. And yeah, part of me is kind of like, I need to go back to that build and see what I did. Um, I think I still have it. I might not. I might have deleted it and put something else there. But because I had the, you know, this original one saved. So anyway, just kind of putting in lighting, making sure all the lights are good and just finishing everything up. All the half walls, those just went in. <laughs> all right, so that's the end of the build. And I hope you enjoyed watching it. Now let's check out the inside a little bit more. That's what the inside looks like. I do want to point out that I did leave the gallery walls blank. There's no artwork um, so that you could put your own Sims artwork up. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy this build. I had so much fun building it and playing in it. And I really hope you guys check it out on the gallery. All right. I will uh, see you in the next video. Bye now.